Let's do this. An indication that you need to replace your temperature sensor is when your aqualink water sensor displays a faulty reading. That's no good. Make sure that your breakers are turned off. Remove the four screws. Take off the cover. Access the electrical components. Note the tabs on the bottom of the cover plate. They hold the cover panel in there. Locate the water temperature sensor. Somewhere in your plumbing Oh look I think I found it There may also be an air temperature sensor Often located below the panel Or somewhere in the shade There's a diagram of how the temperature sensors should be wired on the inside of the panel door. Panel door. Use a really small screwdriver, a flathead, of course, to loosen the terminals and remove the black and red wires. Connected to your temperature sensor You can then remove the wire From the panel completely Now that you've got your new temp sensor Locate the washer too Don't forget to remove the old one In the pot clamp, pot clamp, feed the wire into the control panel and run it along the low voltage raceway. Connect the temperature sensor wires to the green 10 pin terminal bar in the positions indicated on the wiring diagram. Tuck the wires in the raceway, yeah! <laughs> now that you've tucked your wires in, don't forget to replace the panel cover. Don't forget to restore the power. Turn the breakers back on! Turn the breakers back on! Verify that your awkward link reads an accurate measurement of water temperature. Maybe it's cold, maybe it's hot, who knows? Use a thermometer! Use a thermometer!